Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well, we had a question, it's a pretty common question and somebody was asking how to float the social media icons up here to the left and have the secondary menu on the right. It's pretty simple to do. We do have to do a little bit of coding to do this today, but it's not difficult. Don't let the coding put you off. Any code I write, I'll put down below the video and you're welcome to use it. Okay, as we're doing a bit of coding today, what we need to do is go down to our dashboard here and you can either go to Divi and go down to the bottom right here and write your code in here, or you can go to the theme customizer, which is in appearance customize and down at the bottom you'll have additional CSS. They'll both do the same thing. I'll use this one today. So first let's see what we've got. I'm using Google Chrome here with the great inspector tools. Uh, most browsers have this nowadays, but if yours doesn't, Chrome is a free download. So I'm going to right click and inspect our little menu up there. And here's our little social icons and they want to go over to the left. And here's the actual secondary menu. Now the secondary menu itself is sort of bundling both of those together. And I don't know if you can see that very well, but I'm selecting it. And it's only stretching really from the Facebook icon to the end of the contact us. So the first thing we're really going to need to do is make it full width. So here's the ET secondary menu over here. And that's the CSS ID. So I'm going to say width colon 100%. And that's stretched it all the way along our top bar, bar here now. So if we hover over that now, it's as wide as our boxed layout right there. If you wanted to make it full width, you could do that. But that should do for us today. Now he wanted to get the social media icons on the left. Well, they're already there. That's handy. So all we need to do is push our menu across now. So if we just inspect this little menu itself here, here it is, secondary nav right here. So let's just put float, colon, right. And as you can see, we've now got the social media icons on the left and the menu on the right, which is what he wanted to do. Now to make this permanent, we need to write this CSS code into our theme options down here to the custom CSS. So let's go back up. to our secondary menu here where we wrote that code. And I'm simply going to copy all of this from the hashtag to the closing curly bracket there. Control C. And I'm going to paste it in here. Now I don't need the float right there because we didn't write that. So that's there as standard. So we got that. Now we need to drop down a couple. And we'll go back down to our menu, secondary nav right there, click on it, and we hit float right. So I'm going to copy this ID right here, as you can see it's an ID, I'm just going to double left click on it, copy it, go back to our custom CSS. Now because it's an ID and not a class, we need to put a hashtag in front of it, then the ID name itself, then open and close some curly brackets, and inside we can just write float colon right just exactly what we did before semicolon now when you write CSS code it's a good idea to give it a title so people know what it is and if you write a lot of CSS like I do it's a great idea it makes it a lot easier to find and to give it a title go forward slash star star forward slash anything that you write within the two stars there will not be read as code so it's a great place for titles and notes if you need to put them in there so, secondary menu, position, whatever makes sense to you. Might want to spell it right. Okay, so now once we put that in there, let's save our changes. And we can go back to our page, close down the inspector. When I refresh, those all should stay exactly where they are. 
there we go so I hope that's answered your question how to put your social media icons on the left and your secondary menu on the right there pretty simple like I say I'll drop that little bit bit of code down below the video there short and sweet video today I hope you've enjoyed it and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to our YouTube channel once again this has been Jamie with system 22 and webdesign and tech tips .com. thanks for watching have a great day